Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Before the Last Hour, a roguelike post-apocalyptic card game RPG. I'm excited to check it out here today. It looks quite interesting. Just came out on Steam. Uh, starting deck, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out in in the game. Skip tutorial? No, sir. Uh, appearance 1, Appearance 2, choose your starting boon. All right, let's just let's send all of it just as is for now. In we go. Oh, look at that. Well, that's kind of fun. The world has stopped. The wind no longer blows. Nothing is born. Nothing dies. Everything remains still and silent, and no one knows why or how it happened. The few inhabitants of these dead and desolate lands are gradually plunging into oblivion. An evil that erases their memories, their personality transforming them into wandering and aggressive creatures. The Eternals. Time is broken, freezing the world forever in the middle of its apocalypse. Continuer. Ooh. A new energy suddenly flows in your body, awakening you from the torpor in which you had been immersed for so long. Your eyes opened at the sight of a foul beast finishing off a corpse. Frightened, you try and move away as quickly as possible, knocking over a moto jet on which you had been sitting until then. The beast then turns its gaze towards you, its mouth foaming with slime and blood, a swift, instinctive movement to extend your arm, conjuring a weapon. If this creature wants to make you a sex meal, it'll have to come for you. Let's go! Well, hello there. Let me turn up the volume here one sec. All right, battles are turn-based. Each turn, you and your opponent perform an attack. Okay. You can improve your attack with three cards that you place in synergy here. The opponent's synergy is prepared at the beginning of your turn, and you can view the cards by hovering over them. Okay, gotcha. Place the action strength in your synergy by clicking it. Okay. I've done it. Actions can be combined into combo to gain bonus effects. Place the action pursing. It, I will note this is a French game, and it seems maybe there's some uh, some translation that, that will need to be cleaned up uh, over time for the English translation. I will just get that out of the way now. I will probably not be commenting on every little, uh, you know, mistranslation thing. But no, I'm not blind to it. I just... It's, it's something that doesn't bother me as much if it can get fixed over time, you know? Place the action piercing in your synergy to perform a combo with strength. All right. Every time you perform a combo... Okay, so this has a combo with pierce. Is that what it's saying? Combo with strength. Combo with strength. Combo with defend. Interesting. Every time you perform a combo with an action, the latter gains level, which increases its statistics. So this gained a level? This went up to level two, it seems like? Is that what you're telling me here? All right, end your synergy with a speed. So combo speed gives us one extra. It's tough to see. Is there a way to turn the uh, UI size up? No, because that is absolutely impossible to see. <laughs> All right, we'll end with that. Validate your synergy by clicking on the button here. Okay, so what exactly is happening? I guess I'll just trust you for now, and we'll figure it out after. Oh, look at that. Okay. You've drawn spell cards. To cast a sort... To cast a sort, you must place as many copies in a synergy as there are spheres on the focus of the card. Place as many copies in synergy... As there are spheres on the focus of the card, so there's three, so it looks like we can't play it yet. You're short at one copy of the spell, so use your redraw to discard this card and draw another. Uh, okay. I'm always a fan of, like, a built-in redraw. Vault of the Void, shout out, let's go. Uh, right-click, relaunch two. You now have enough copies of the spell to run it. Place them all in the synergy. So does this only do 20? Or does it do 60? You know what I'm saying? This copy of the spell is negated by an opposing card with a counter spell effect. Okay. Once per turn, you may cancel an opponent's card by consuming your insight. Once per turn, you may cancel an opponent's card by consuming your insight. Oh! What is my ins- Where's my insight? 
throwing a lot right away, but you know, like, sure. Your spell is ready to be launched. Now validate your synergy. Boom. Synergy validate. Oh! I do, the, the animation is, it's quite fun. I, I, I like this style here. It's quite interesting, quite different. To have it be almost like a, an animated cartoon back here that just plays specifically. Uh, once per battle, you can select a consumable to be used and destroyed. Choose the killing, the killing grenade. <laughs> okay, okay, I have to comment on that one. I like that. Devs, do not fix this one. Don't fix this one. Deadly grenade. Ah, oh, I want the killing grenade. Okay, so where is that? Like, it's in my inventory. This is your starting weapon. It cannot be sold. How do I, like, use it? You want to... Hit numbers. Ah, okay. I can click it over here. I will use my killing grenade on you. Now it's your turn. Finish the fight. So is this a one-time use item? You inflict one damage per two health. Missing from your opponent, I assume, is what that uh, what that means there. So that does seem good. So we we got this. All right, let, let's let's analyze here. Why is this like broken right now? What's going on with that? There's like a smash in it. Combo strength gives us plus four. We can remove insight. So insight is this. Gotcha. Combo strength plus one insight. And we could combo with Pierce, or we could just like go in. I'm assuming you're almost dead, right? You have. S oh, maybe not. Maybe not so much. I'll ditch that. We are down to one insight. We have one little read roll right here. We can relaunch for one. Do we want to try and find like a Pierce? I mean, you're not even attacking me, so we might as well re roll that. Speed. Z relaunch zero. Oh, they're saying I have zero relaunches left. Re relaunch is going to be like the, um, my God. I just don't know how to get the audio balance right on this game. Um, hmm. So we don't have the pierce combo, combo strength. What happens if we do that? That gives us the extra armor, I guess. Does this still give us the damage? Can we take these out? Okay, so we can take them out when we, when we wish. So we're going to be attacking for 24 once. Spells plain 24. I, I guess that just means plain damage of 24. And we're going to get two defense, I guess. The monster gets five. I don't know, man. Do we do 41 damage? What's going on? So the grenade got used first, which is kind of suboptimal. So there was an attack coming out. I guess they innately do an attack at a base. Like, I could have seen over there how much they were going to be doing, but... All right. Combos with strength. We do have the ability to... We do not have the ability to relaunch, but we can cancel one of these. Combo with speed. We have armor break. So yeah, you, you're doing seven damage anyways. I see that. I see that now. You are automatically doing seven damage anyways. Comments with speed to give an extra bone? Bone breaking? Very tiny little bone breaking symbol. I don't know what that means here for us. Hand, in, afflicts handicap. Okay. All right. Combo with defend to get two extra rerolls. That's kind of interesting. So theoretically, we get four defense... We're not going to do very much damage this turn, but we get, like, utility back here. We probably could have gone in for a kill, I bet. 12. Out. Alright, do we attack first, though? Because I can't, I can't cancel any more attacks. Combo with Pierce. We have a couple rerolls. Gives extra bleed. Combo with Pierce to give the bleed. We get extra extra level up. At level 5, it does an extra 20 damage. Is that what it's saying there? Like in the 
there's a little tiny little red symbol right there. Level 5 minus 20. Eeny, meeny, little thing. I don't know what that is. I would think it'd be bleed, but it's not. It's not the bleed symbol. That much I can... That much I can tell. It's not the bleed symbol. Alright, combo with speed. We could. Or I'll tell you what we should do. We should do bang, bang, bang. Super wombo combo. So we're doing 30. This should be more than enough. I think we attack first. This should be way more than enough. Get wrecked, nerd. The beast has run away. You catch your breath observing the world in which you've awakened. Everything is still bleak as if dying. You have this strange sensation that you are not waking up for the first time. Your mind is numb. Your m m memories. Your, mo your mom. Your mommy is too fuzzy to hold on to. Uh, your gaze drifts to the gauntlet on your arm. The light flashes on it. You press a button and a screen appears. Simple sentences being displayed. Resume mission. Eliminate Dysis. Location of last death being acquired. Destination acquired. Loading route. Mechanically. Uh, mechanically, you start to moto jet and drive off. Okay. Continuer. Look at this. This is nice. Here's the map. You can move on by left-clicking on an accessible square around you. An immortal beast chases you through your exploration. Every time you move or fight, this counter decreases. When it reaches zero, the beast will appear on the map and chase you down to try and kill you. As you explore, you will take risks in order to gain better loot. The risk factor represents this. The higher it is, the harder the exploration will be, but it's also going to increase the quality of the loot. Loot quality is very important. Increases your chances of getting rare and powerful items when obtaining loot. Yes. Okay. The jump will allow you to move up to two squares away. You will have to wait a while before you can use it again or perform the reload action, which will appear at the cost of a beast's advance. Continuum is the main resource for your exploration. With it, you can buy items, heal yourself, and improve your weapons. Okay, the Codex tracks your progress and allows you to obtain bonuses for your next games. Ah, it's a roguelite. The inventory contains your deck and all of your useful items in battle. Please click it. Thank you. Your statistics are grouped here, and you can view the details by hovering over them with the mouse. Whoop, up, 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 up. Good deal. Good to know. This is your deck. You can modify it outside of combat by clicking cards to add or remove them. I mean, I'm going to assume and hope that it's well-constructed at a base. Like, until I get another card, I don't, don't hope I don't have to change anything. This is your starting weapon. It cannot be sold. What's special about it? What does it do? Maybe it doesn't have anything special about it. All right. Well, scoot. Scoot on up here. Should we just jump right away? Like, I don't know. Maybe we should. I mean, I'm seeing nothing yet. There's a hole here. You've arrived at a crystal filled with continuum, radiating the time energy zone. Okay, uh, radiating the time energy zone. It contains so much of it that it'll take you a long time to absorb it all. Get nine continuum. Is that that? That's this. Okay, that that is a time little symbol right there. We can trade one beast symbol. So this would go down further by one, but we would get 31 continuum. You know what? Sure. Uh, you decided to strike a balance, absorbing each enough continuum without putting yourself in too much danger. Just hope you haven't delayed too long. All right, well, okay. I will mention, if something's completely not translated at all, that is worth bringing up. That is that is interesting. We also get the continuum there. Ooh, uh, give me a fight. Give me a fight. I feel like maybe saving the jump until the beast is already chasing us, unless I have a misunderstanding of how that's going to go. Feels like that might be a good call. All critical actions inflict damage. What is a critical action? Is it just... Is it a critical hit in a normal sense, or... We'll see. Is it, is it a stat here? Anything to do with critical... I assume that it's going to be... I just don't know if it's like... Okay. Inflict damage. It's, maybe it's just a critical action whenever you get a combo. Two bleed on every hit. 
I mean, that's rough. Like, I definitely feel like we want to remove cards, but how many cards should we remove is probably the best question. Uh, combos into Pierce. Feels like ditching this so that the combo gets lost. Feels like a logical idea there. All right, so innately, we always do 16 damage and have five H or five defense. Seems to be the case. Like, that's what our weapon and our armor do at a very base there. Combo with strength to get an extra, uh, extra ability to remove here. This is an interesting system. It's a lot at once, but it's a very interesting system. Like, combo, do that to combo with strength and to combo with pierce. Seem, that all seems really quite good. Did I not combo with Pierce like it said? I, oh, I, I am. I'm applying bleed. I mean, I'm down with this. Like, we're going to get an extra son of a gun to remove up there. I think that we want to make sure we just use it to remove combos for now. Seems like a logical idea. Like, how much HP do you got? Yeah, this fight's going to go on for a little while. I think we mostly want to remove combos. Okay, so what is bleed? Inflicts one damage if the action is in your hand at the end of the turn. Oh. That's not that bad. Let's just ditch that. Oh, we drew a new one. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. So they're all gone. So we can go bang, bang, bang. We can get all of them out. We're going to take no bleed. We have nine defense doing 32 damage with one pierce. Pierce, I guess, probably just means we go through one of the armors there. Uh, all right. So also, it's also worth noting, I'm assuming this goes from top to bottom. Like, the combo weapon would need to be right here, or combo weapon or speed combo defend so what does this do this does adds two damage this seems like it's a lot of attacks though so i guess we could also just as easily remove that and it's probably a better call less multi-strikes meaning less bleed from the multi-strike attacks here if i'm understanding that correctly we still have one of these left over are we getting another we are not getting another i'm gonna save it i'm, a, I'm too afraid of uh, adjusting there but that's some damage, man. Okay. But it's fine. If we uh, if we use up all of these... Okay, so violence. Bonus attack based off of the health lost by the opponent. Total? I have one more reroll. Actions camouflage. Minus one something, my, or minus ten something, minus ten something. Let's see if we can figure out what that symbol is. It kind of looks like a little fireworks symbol. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god. You know what? Oh my. I'm going to tell you. I don't know. I don't know what that symbol means. And it doesn't tell me. We'll just have to find it out. All right, I kind of want to... You're doing nothing? Are you really... You're... It says you're doing zero damage, but I see this here. I... I'm very curious. Let's cycle that, see if we get lucky. Weapon. Combos with strength. Okay, okay. Is this stealth? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Is it making it so I'm going to miss? Still, okay. I see. So that one was different. It ha That one had... Oh, my God. That one happened before our turn. So we need to do lots of damage. Combo with Pierce to do more there. We're doing 40. We should be good. Combos with speed to get an extra... Get the handicap. Right, so that does 74. So why does this do 74? 
Oh, you can double combo. Well, would you look at that? And that levels it up to level five. So it's currently level three because we comboed it a couple times. We can do it a even more. That's This is so interesting. It's a lot at once. It's a very interesting, deeper system. Interesting, 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 interesting. I know, I get it. But it is, okay? Screw <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it, it, it is. Weak loot. Minus 13 continuum? Wait, what? What? The massive silhouette of a crashed ship. Also, wait. Did we actually get minus 13? Because I'm at 73. What's happening here? Uh, the massive silhouette of a... 73, 73. Screw it. Who cares? The massive silhouette of a crashed ship in the sand torn by a shell impacts the stands... Impact stands before you. The surrounding scenery seems devoid of interest and you prefer to look away for a way to the ship. The only access points you find are the two breaches in the hull. One is at the back of the ship, while the second is towards the bridge. Oh, look at this. Go risky, baby. Risk factor up. So what happens? Uh, your opponent gains 7 health per tier at level 2, which is currently apparently what we're on. Plus 1 strength of the beast. Like, oh, the, the, be the beast. That big boy beast. But we also get better loot now. After escaping the trappings of a decaying wreck, you arrive in the reactor room. Oh my god. We got even more choices? What the heck? Choose your own adventure? Uh, wait, why, why am I... I'm blown away by this tiny little thing for a second. I, I, I know it's stupid and it's little, but I'm so used to every strategy game not having a second choice. Like... Why, why is this the first time I've seen this very basic concept of branching further? Is it because devs don't want to be like, well, I don't want, we don't want to, I don't want to build the second, second branching path after. I mean, it makes sense, but wow. Okay. Uh, the structure climbs up a spiral topped by electric generators on the walkways above you are hundreds of empty cages, except for one, which an animal is squeaking. The generator ca cable also leads to a large steel door. I must free the animal. It's my job. Weak loot moto jet. Use this object to trap a square on the map. If the beast runs over that trap, it loses your track. Oh. Okay. As the power level lever is turned down, electricity flows from the generator. And as it starts up, the energy flows into the cages, which opens one by one, leaving a small bug free. But the energy continues to advance through the ship, and eventually a rumbling sound is heard. Only when you emerge from the wreckage do you see smoke coming out of the cannons, but you don't know what the strikes have fired at. You've just obtained a consumable, a consumable, consumable moto jet item. The place here can be consumed on the square. You are on to get their effects. Once used, they will be destroyed. Don't worry about that right now. What is going on over here, though? You found the body of a grave robber. His bag seems to contain some of his finds. Uh, four risk factor, minus 20 health? Is that... That looks like a different symbol than some of the other health I've seen. Safe rest, plus two beastometer. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's fine to spend that for, for loot. So that actually did subtract 15 there. I'm just curious what this is. Uh, redraw a strength action. If you redraw a strength action, you will add plus one, I'm assuming, armor break? I'm assuming armor break. Uh, for the whole combat. Curious. We have 58 continuum. Plus one fire for every two armor. Okay. Hi, welcome, dear friend. I have so much to, or so much, so much to offer. If you have continuum, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a consumable. Eh. The speed action gains plus one attack for every reroll used during the turn. I kind of like that. Seems not too bad. Can I get two things? I can get both of these. All right. 
Go to inventory. Uh, oh, okay. So this is an artifact. This is just like a passive. This is just on. We can only have one helmet, one chest, and one booties. But you can have as many relics down here as we want. This is kind of like, you know, like you're slaying this by a relic or whatever. This is just, you can have, that's why we can have so many of them. This is just on. I can't click it and do anything with it because it's just on all the time. Gotcha. Redraw strength action to add one pierce to it. Reduces the defense. Reduces the defense. Shield adverse. Okay, gotcha. I think. I think I gotcha. Don't jump. Well, actually, ooh, there's something to be said about jumping to whatever the heck that thing is. Uh, okay, we could get loot on. Mine is 135 health to get one something. A dark and menacing force is escaping from this place. Jealously guarding a pile of treasure it grabs you and you soon realize that you cannot escape its influence. Apparently I can. I've escaped the influence. You've just found an old weapon accelerator which could surely help you in future battles. Plus one reroll, minus one pierce. I, I kind of like that for us. That seems good. I mean, we have... You try and make the accelerator work, but it seems to have a safety de device that resists you. After forcing the object's casing for the umpteenth time, you receive an electric shock. But finally, the object gives way, and you can repair it. Once your gauntlet has assimilated it, you set off again. Okay. We're about to get chased. Can we get events by doubling back on tiles? You cannot. A groan catches your attention. Lying among the ruins, an eternal reaches out to you with a trembling hand. He is badly wounded and does not appear to be an immediate threat. I'm gonna rob him. Let's go! Okay, so you spawn all the way down there, but we have the trap. The bunker seems impregnable and, inex and inaccessible. You have to be cunning to get in. Oh, and, I and I'm not. You walk heavily across the former battlefield. The ground is disfigured by the impact of shells, littered with empty shells and disarticulated bodies. In the midst of these, you hear the moans of a soldier in eternal agony. You could finish him off or interrogate him. Uh oh, I, f I failed something. Was that? Oh, I probably did like a roll. I don't think it was like, you made the wrong choice. Like, maybe I did, but I think I probably did a roll. You ask him about what's in the bunker. He then seems to confuse you with an opponent who swears he would rather die than say anything. You leave him to his ramblings. Failed. No gold. gold. Okay, well, fine. You approach the cannons. They seem to be in bad shape. The war and the warp have not spared them. You can take a closer look at them or explore the underground of the cannon. Okay, plus one reward for this. Cool. We'll check the codex maybe after. You're approaching the cannons and on a closer inspection, the condition is not so bad. Perhaps you could even find a use for them. You aim one of them at the bunker in front of you and fire. The blast fills the air and the cloud of smoke fills the area as you fire. As it disperses, you see a gaping hole in the bunker. So what's up with this? Like... Do I, am I actually getting? Okay. Okay, we're getting stuff over here. I, I thought it said something about something, something about strength for other runs. I was just curious. Where's the beast? Okay. Are you approaching? Yep. You are definitely approaching. Uh, fine. Just keep up going this way. Go up to the watchtower. Even more danger means even more loot. You notice an old watchtower that might offer a good view of the surroundings, but it is particularly exposed. Go to the watchtower. I'm going to say no for now. I got to remember to read the second thing there. Yeah, he's pretty close. 
Small turrets ravaged by war and warp. The door to one of them is open. You can search inside. But you may not need to go inside the turret to find anything to help you. You could you see some supply crates lying around the turrets. You could try and examine the guns or focus on the crates. Uh, let's look at the guns. Rip. You move towards a turret, which is aimed at the bunker in front of you. You engage the firing mechanism, and immediately an alarm goes off. The shell inside the gun is jammed and about to explode. You have just enough time to get away with, from the explosion, which destroys everything around you. Failed. No reward gained. Take me to a fight, I guess. We have the little teleport I guess we'll probably want to use. I hope this fight does not go too bad because uh, the big beast is upon us. Okay. Master of Combo. Let me check this again. Speed action gains plus one attack for every reroll use. This is when you reroll a strength. Combos with defend to get even more rerolls. could re-roll that or I could do like what if I could get another defend what if I could get another defend I want to try that out come on because these get all strengths get the buff so we could go like this that that we get two extra re-rolls we get the double combo this is up to three at level five it does what I, that might be the bleed symbol? I just can't tell. It's so small. We're not even we're not doing very much damage though. I don't think that was quite worth it. I thought it'd be more worth it than it was. Combo speed, combo weapon, so this gets the combo of both. Combo defend, combo pierce, combo speed. This seems to have the combo speed, so I think that the combo activates no matter where they are in the in the order. They don't have to be after. That one seems like the one to ditch. It's a little rough. But our strength is going to be nice for later. Like, we, we buffed up the piercing twice, and it, it's better than I thought it was. So we could reroll that... And go for like, for example, let me just, what does this look like? Okay, we, if we ditch that, you don't go invisible, but you do get to attack me. But this is solid because we get two ranks in that. We might be able to hit the level five on it pretty soon. I'll just take this little hit for now. It's not that bad. combo defend. Can I kill? Bonus attack based off the health of loss. Let me just click that for a sec. That does have to 52 right now. Okay. Well, okay. So that's for this turn. If we do that, combo defend gives us two rerolls. I don't care about that right now. Combo speed for an extra one of those. I guess I'm kind of looking for a strength up. Yeah, I mean, we, we could just go for all this even though it's no wombo combo. We're doing 115 damage. So it hardly seems like it matters. So we, we did a good job of building those up for later. So, by taking fights when we're at low, low treasure. I think that's just, I think that just lied though. I think we are gaining 12. I think that's just wrong. Right? Was it, I spent like almost everything. Do, is it just we get 12, do we get 12 less than we would have? Is that what's happening? Because I'm at 66 and I don't think I was at, I don't think I was at uh, 78 prior. Right? <laughs> 
You stop your vehicle at the edge of a dead tree. Its twisted branches stretch and bend under the weight of the huge cocoons made of stone. Some are crushed to the ground and ooze a yellowish, viscous liquid. Numerous footprints suggest that a creature has made this place their territory. Probably for the rock eggs. One of the stone shells is already cracked and, be, and will be easy to open, exposing you to potential danger it holds. You are, your attention is also drawn to a bunker that appears to have been recently occupied. Give me the risk at this point. Uh, leaving the threatened tree behind, threatening tree behind, you turn towards the military shelter. You walk through the creaking door, letting out a nauseating smell of rotten filth. It's terribly hot, like a rabbit hole. The table is overrun with the remains of cocoons and half gnawed bones. The inhabitant of this place feeds on what is growing on the tree. You are free to search the place or eat one of the cocoons. Ah, uh, fine. What? <laughs> I can get another pierce if I want it. I guess that's right. I should maybe adjust my deck now. The smell is insurmountable. But you could take one of the cocoons inside. The remains of a half-eaten hairy creature float in plasma liquid. Unclipping a previously chewed thigh, you bite into it repeatedly. Slimy blood flows all over your lips after you've had your fill. You leave this sickening shelter on your vehicle. You keep, your mouth, you keep in your mouth the taste of ash proper to the flesh you've just eaten. I mean, all right. All right, so let's adjust our deck. I, I think I want to, first of all, remove that. Okay, I need to have, that's what I was, that's what I was wondering. I was like, I bet you I need to have a limit. I have to have 20 cards. Okay. Um, do I want an extra pierce? Probably not. Well, wait, we get the combo out of the pierce. Maybe we do. And then we remove what? Weapon? I think we remove one weapon. Alright. Okay. That that probably is actually a good call for us. Yoink. Alright. An alchemist has set up a makeshift workshop. You get one extra gold thing. Uh, plus, three. what happens? Wait. At zero, the beast comes after you. Is this... I mean, I imagine it means it gets to move three turns for free. Let him come! A boss is waiting for you there. If you move there, you can't go back. So that's what I was thinking. One, two, three. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I mean, I'm fine with just going to give it a shot, right? I could have put down the trap, even. Maybe I should have, but I assumed that this was like, it was telling me, you're done right now. Well, hello. I love that, like, fighting game versus screen. A huge knight stands in your way. The moment he sees you, he points his gigantic weapon at you and shouts, Yo! You dare to live again after what you've done? So be it. For the affront you have brought upon my Hore Dysis, I will annihilate you. Okay. <laughs> ah, so even you cannot be contaminated by the Oblivion. The Hore are our goddesses, heretic. And you did not deserve their blessings. No matter, goddesses or not, I must eliminate her. So be it, then I will crush you. Master of the Defense, at level one, the strength action gains a combo with a weapon. Plus one handicap. Okay. Plus one armor by handy cape active on opponent. What? What is that? What is that debuff? Does it make me do less damage? Doesn't tell me. Doesn't let me know. All right. Well, I kind of want to get a pierce. And like another pierce. And then just ditch something over here. So, boy, howdy. This combo's with weapon. I mean, that's not great. Combo pierce and weapon. Weapon. This has got to be a weapon, right? Action slash chatament de furor. Okay, well, I mean, I think that's a, a little buggy poo. Hmm. Let's 
is getting a level up by one. This is getting apparently only a level up by one. Maybe this doesn't count as a weapon. I guess it must not. This feels like that would do the most damage then. Because they're both down to level one. I gotta try something. Yeah, the order doesn't matter. I really thought it would have. Um, I guess I could... Wait. Oh! The level is tied across all of it. Okay, so if any strength card gets plus one, they all get plus one. That's really nice to know, too. Let's do it. Let, let's just... Let's try and upgrade that card right now. If we can... Like, maybe we want to cycle some strength cards so we can get more armor piercing, considering he is the guy for it. <sighs> nope. Kind of want another... Okay. Go in on it, hit it at level 5 max already. It does 20 lane... Oh, is it? It just does 20... 20... I think it's adding this one, which is 20 plane damage. Oh, plane damage is true damage. Plane damage is true damage. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle then. Okay. That's pretty good. Just trying to not get that buffed up, but then we can't remove anything else again. But here's the thing. Now we can cycle our pierces probably a little bit more likely. And it won't be so bad. Ow. Oh, and then it resets back down? It resets back after? That combos with defend. I can I can't cycle one of those. I don't have a defend. We used up all of our stuff too quickly. Where's that counterspell coming from? What do you mean, counterspell? So should I not use it then? Is that just a passive he has? Where can I figure out? This has counterspell. Ah, I see it. It says it on there. Well, these... This sucks right now. But I don't want to be counterspelled, so I guess I'll send this. This this is just a bad turn. Just a very bad turn. Yeah, we need to gain defense. Oh, okay, so that's that's the handicap. Gotcha. I would need a strength to get another one of things that can remove you over there. Cancels the effects of the action. Do I really care about the one piercing? Maybe we want to remove this card. Active on the opponent. That seems to imply... By active on the opponent... Is that over here, or is that in my hand? Because if it's in my hand, I want to play it. If it's not, then I don't. Like, it's as simple as that, but I also... I just don't know the answer here. We are not getting it right. I thought that... I went all in on upgrading that card because I thought it was going to stay upgraded for the battle. Big lesson learned on that one. That sucks for us.
Definitely doing that. I don't mind doing this, even though we won't get the effect, because... No, we don't get the, um... We don't get the combo, either. Ooh, Nelly! That's no good. We're very weak, it feels like. Is that because of the... Yes, it is because of the, uh, the armor there. That does 17, that does 15. Feels like we might as well go for the 15 then, unless... Yeah, it really feels like we just might as well go for this. It also upgrades the strength. We're not going for speed then. What does this look like? 12? Twelve, and we apply one weaken to them. Is that right? Maybe that's worth it then. And then we can keep one strength for later, and we can maybe use it to activate a different combo. Fine. Let me see how this... How does me applying it to them work? Ow. Plus two confusion. When his health blood fall, oh no. Also, I can't help but notice he does not have the buff on him. Inflicts five damage if the action is in your hand at the end of the turn. Oh no. When the health falls below 50%, you get four armor for the rest of the fight. In addition, he risks a shield hit inflicting damage if his opponent uses speed or strength. Risks a shield hit, inflicting damage. He risks a shield hit, inflicting damage if his opponent uses speed or strength. Just, does that mean, like, the phrasing on that is confusing to me. Does it mean he has a chance to ignore Figuring out if I can cheese. No. We have counter spell. Oh my god. This armor is crazy. Doing 119 to me? You're doing 119? I got no freaking items? I guess I shouldn't have teleported to the boss. Who would have thought? Yeah, that is that is gnarly. Like, I could try and use this. I'm going to take an extra 5. At this point, 5 damage is not that big of a deal to me, but... I mean... Ow. Yeah, like, I had nothing to do to, to remove there. I can't remove any of this. I'm taking 26. The good news is I'm not dying here because that was their big buffed up turn. They're about to hit level five on both those and I can't ditch either. Um, I might as well, I like almost might as well take this confusion damage if it lines up being fine. I'm doing no damage. Why am I not doing any damage? Is my attack unable? Is this just... Okay, that's why. He's just got so much armor that I can't get through. He has so much armor that I can't get through. That I can't do anything. I can't re-roll. Combo with speed. Combo with strength. I, like, I can do this and hope that it just happens to do something good. Do damage. Nope, he's just got way too much armor. I literally can't get through it. Kill me. Kill me! You died. Yes, yes I did, baby. Yes, I did. So, do we actually get stronger between runs or not? Like, it seemed... Uh, that was miss... Uh, there was maybe a miss... Oh, look at that. Yes. It's so freaking... Sw you see that? Look at that. Rewards unlocked hard mode. Rewards codec 
this creature eternal's description. What? Unlocked hard mode. So it looks like certain codex entries seem to give you different stats. Sacred Ember or card, maybe? Maybe card unlocks? Is that what it is? Like, we got one extra strength because we got this specific codex entry? Seems to maybe be the case. We also unlocked this new starting thing, this instigator or investigator. Very curious. Temporal disruption. Th there's some really interesting stuff going on here. Like, I, I hope... Like, it's not... Um, it's still in early access, I do believe. I believe it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's in early access, but... It's certainly, certainly unique. Uh, it takes... The uh, the combo system will take a little bit to get used to. I think that we weren't supposed to be fighting that boss yet. I think I teleported over a gap into that boss, and then I just went, and I didn't really necessarily get that strong yet. I think we were supposed to be in uh, pursued by the beast for, like, a little while. We run around, we get stronger, take a little bit more risk, get a little bit, a little bit more rewards via that. Like, I don't think we were necessarily supposed to be fighting that boss yet maybe could be wrong uh alternatively i'm sure there could have been a way to get through it but obviously like well you know when he hits the 50 percent mark and suddenly he has enough armor that none of my attacks actually do damage anymore it's a bit tough it's a bit tough it's a brutal little fight but apparently you get stronger it seems it seems like you get stronger it's it was not very made very clear um it was not yeah it was not made very clear particularly but it seems as though we do get rewards down here. And I believe that's the... I, it's so hard to tell, but I think that's the fist stat symbol. I could be wrong. I think that that's what that is. Um, and I think you can get slightly stronger over time. So that's interesting. Uh, maybe it'll get easier then. We'll see. We'll see. But alas, very cool. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who are very interested in this game. Uh, it's out now on Steam in early access. You can pick it up if you want with the link at the top of the description. My name is Retromation, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty, typically in roguelikes and roguelites. So if you are interested in that genre and you like weird, interesting new takes on it, this is definitely a channel you want to be subscribed to. Right here, right here. I will make sure you do not miss out on any great or, or interesting new indie games, especially in the roguelike genre. Thank you, thank you, though, and I will see you next time. Bye.